make sure that everyone's needs and wants are heard. Definitely agree. Like I was saying earlier, it's it's about the sort of win 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 win. Mm -hmm. So in every project that our skate takes on, we really aim to have a quadruple bottom line. So really enhancing, you know, the social culture, mm -hmm. uh, the diversity, and, and the economic sort of like fabric mm -hmm. of, of the neighborhood, uh, the the green aspect of it. Uh, environmentally, we're trying to have an impact. Um, so just in every way, shape that we can with each of our projects, it's really about everyone getting something out of this, you know. Yeah, for sure. Well, I guess to draw upon impact, what is it that you feel are going to be the biggest impacts of the center on the community, as well as the city at large? Because I would assume that it's not just about that particular neighborhood as well as what it is that that center is bringing to a larger picture. For sure. I mean, you raise a good point. This is uh, an arts and cultural center that's rooted in Regent Park, but it's open to the world. Mm -hmm. And so just to be perfectly clear, this is definitely going to be a place where we're showcasing music and film and theater and dance and spoken word and you know all kinds of social innovation and amazing programming for people from the community but also for people from across the GTA and who mm -hmm. knows maybe beyond right yeah. um, and so when you talk about the impact that it's going to have on the community there's a few ways to talk about that question I mean on the, on the regional community on the neighborhood itself I mean this is such uh, a kind of important building block such a cornerstone for for the revitalization which started in 2005, so we're in phase two of a six-phase revitalization right now. And I think it's no accident that this is being built in the early stages of that, because this is meant to be a destination for people from all walks of life to come and gather and connect and build meaningful relationships and just share in the magic that is the arts and, mm -hmm. and to share their cultural experiences and to, to learn about you know, the social innovation work that's happening and the impact they, they want to make on the world. This is meant to be the place where that all happens, that mm -hmm. hub of activity, right? Mm -hmm. And during a time where there's so many changes taking place in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. there are new phases coming in, there's buildings being built and demolished, it's, uh, it's important to have a place where people can just come and hang and connect and, and love life together. Mm -hmm. I think also because the neighborhood is in, is in so much transition too. For sure. Where I feel like you probably got like, kind of a cross section of people who kind of been there since the beginning and people who are just moving in. And, how do you kind of make sure that both sides of those are able to feel like they're in a safe space somewhere? I think creating a center like that's going to be a really great starting point. Absolutely, and creating an accessible center too, where we've mm -hmm. got you know, uh, you know, really amazing kind of sliding scale rates. We've got all kinds of opportunities and free mentorship opportunities, and we're really kind of going out of our way to make sure that this is warm and welcoming to people. Uh, you know, from everywhere. So the Programming Advisory Committee includes people like Mustafa Ahmed, who's a 15-year-old Jarvis collegiate poet mm -hmm. uh, from Region, who's just like incredibly, like incredibly talented. Um, it includes people like Chinkatari, uh, who runs Manifesto with a whole bunch of other good people. Uh, it includes you know people like Kenneth Slater from Dixon Hall, who's a drummer. Uh, Foss Ashkir from the neighborhood, who's uh, a mother of two, but is involved with uh, an initiative called My Region Park. So long story short, that programming advisory committee is made of both people from the neighborhood and from the arts community at large, and they are really instrumental in helping shape all the programming visions, policies, processes, all that kind of good stuff.